ever imagine that in your younger, wild and more hedonistic days that you'd be here today at the Chelsea Flower Show fronting this lovely garden here? Yeah. And, you know, also where I come from, we didn't have a garden. <laughs> right. And uh, it's just been over the years. I mean, since the first house I bought in 65 had some acreage. And it was the, the first gardening thrill was that we went with this George the gardener because we didn't know what to do and we planted potatoes and when we dug up the first potatoes it, it's like one of those memories you'll never forget you dug up your own food was far out so it sort of continued from there but you know I'm not the great gardener I'm the great pointer I know what I'd like to see in this area of my land or that part of the garden and uh, and that's what we do. And what brings you back to Chelsea, really? What's so special about it? Well, Why are you so obsessed with the garden? If you look at the people? history, I mean, I used to come just to enjoy it and look at it. And now I can come and be of some use. So I'm promoting WaterAid today and last year. And there's several gardens I've promoted, several situations I've promoted. And, and that's what I do now. And do you like to get your hands dirty? So it's dirty? positive, mm. and then I can go and wander around. Great. And do you get, like to get your hands dirty in the garden yourself? Do you, I what's don't your, really... What's your best things you like to plant? or? No, grow? no, I'm not really big mm. at that part of it. I'm mm. big at talking to my gardeners. Mm. Do you play music in your garden, or do you believe that plants with music, they grow better? I do. Yes. I, I, I have been known to talk to them, but I don't actually get my drums out and play to them. <laughs> <laughs> and why World Water Aid? I mean, is, is the India connection, does that bring you back to it's, your uh, Well, Shankar Water Aid is bigger than the Indian connection, and we did go to India. Um, it's, it's worldwide, and the idea that blew me away was that people don't have water. You know, we are so spoiled here. And um, so I just love what Water Aid is doing. And last year we did the same thing. We had a garden from Africa, uh, and this one's from India, as you can tell. And, you know, just that tap, you know, helps thousands of people. You know, and there's thousands of children dying every year. You know, not like over the, a millennium. They're dying all the time mm. just because they don't have fresh water. And do you think gardening, gardening can cure as well? Is it a sort of healing well, process I, I as well? Think, uh, like for meditation? I you, do. You I do? think, uh, you know, if you're looking at beautiful things, you get in a beautiful mood. And that helps. Do you still do transcendental meditation as well? I do. Yes. And um, do you have any of your contemporaries? Are they any of your secret gardeners themselves in the music world? Uh, well, yes, there's several of them. Uh, heavy gardeners and as we were talking before Olivia Harrison's here and George uh, was an incredible gardener and uh, I sort of started following his footsteps and then I got my own way you know and seeing as we're at the flower show and I, I do have to ask you this it's a silly question but um, if you were a vegetable what would you be? A vegetable? Well I love potatoes <laughs> <laughs> and, and Paul McCartney what would, if he were a vegetable what would he be? Oh he'd be something exotic <laughs> 